Hi, a very good morning to all of you. So today with us, we have Priya Tyagi, who has secured admission at D School at IIT Delhi as well. Uh, sir, I've been waitlisted at IIT Delhi. Okay, so I, I would rather let Priya uh, continue with all her achievements this year. And yeah, Priya, please go ahead with uh, all the success that you have attained this year, please. First of all, I would like to thank you, sir, for providing me with this opportunity to present myself on this platform. And I would like to start off by mentioning that I've completed my schooling from Uttam School for Girls, after which I have pursued my bachelor's in economics from Sri Ram College of Commerce. I had already been placed in Accenture, but I felt that post-graduation was my calling, so I focused my uh, I focused my studies according to uh, entrance examinations and I've been fortunate enough to secure a uh, gate rank one and IIT jam uh, rank uh, 58 and I've got uh, offers from IIT Madras, uh, Gokhale, IG idea, GNU but uh, I am I will be focusing on uh, getting into D school only so I mean I have been uh, uh, got I mean I have gotten a seat in D school also so I'll be going there. Great. Yeah, exactly. So the latest uh, entry to your admission list was D school only, right? And I guess from, uh, if I'm not wrong, from day one, some of the top institutes, D school was one of them for sure, along with other institutions like IGDR or let's say IIT Madras. So with this, I, I will formally say congratulations to Priya, uh, not only from me, but from the entire team and NAM as well in particular. For, for all your success. So congratulations, Priya. Thank you, sir. Okay. So Priya, now let's move forward and let's try to share your experience in terms of, let's begin with the preparation strategy. Take care. Because as far as I see, you secured, you were able to get into Accenture and would on the lines of about to start your corporate career. But then you thought, uh, post-graduation is something that I need to complete. Let the studies be completed and then we'll focus on corporate career. So what was your strategy in terms of approaching your entrances and what was your idea? So uh, for the uh, for Accenture, I sat mostly I mean I sat mostly because of the experience that I wanted to gain, like from the interview experience. So I thought that maybe I would set it out and uh, fortunately I got through it. But then uh, from last June, 2023, I had been focusing my uh, studies according to entrance examinations only. So the first point of my preparation was uh, going through the syllabus and preparing the notes and compiling the notes that I had from uh, my semester study material also. And uh, I would also uh, say that uh, I had gone through multiple revisions before the final examination. So uh, from August or maybe September, like I had started attempting one or two DSC past year papers on my own only. I mean, if I got stuck at some question, I would look at the solution and then try that again. So I prepared separate two or three registers for DSC, uh, for DSC oriented past years only. And uh, this is after having gone through the syllabus and revising them and revising maths, micro, macro. And then, uh, since we since the first exam that we had was on 4th february of gate so uh, i was continuously watching artha points like youtube videos like ma'am had provided a, a sort of road map as to the one uh, as to what to do one and a half week before the exact date of the exam and i felt that that provided me a blueprint as to how to go about the entire revision process so uh, because it took me one week to revise in the entire syllabus. I thought that maybe I'm doing something wrong. But then I watched ma'am's videos and she said, yes, it takes one day to revise the entire two or three registers of one subject only. So gate paper, it was mentally and physically very exhausting for me because, I mean, I had attempted mock papers. Uh, but it was at a house setting and personalized setting. But there I had to sit for three hours. Right. So, I mean, I got some health issues during that time, but uh, then uh, for the next exam, 11th February, I again revised because I felt that I had revised only two or two or maybe three times before gate. So before IIT jam also, I sort of revised two more times. And uh, I felt that uh, ma'am had also provided some extra questions on the YouTube video, the Sankalp series. So I practiced those questions also and wrote those extra uh, formulas that I had. 
For CVT, uh, my preparation was again. I had to revise everything from the scratch, and uh, I had I have like eleven, twelve registers in total of just notes, and uh, four registers of mocks, and two registers of my personalized uh, past year papers only. So uh, the CVT part also, I felt that this time they had focused more on uh, the theoretical part and understanding the concept behind the. Uh, Uh, statistics or maybe any other micro or macro concept yeah. and uh, uh, ma'am had also provided us with uh, those nitty gritties as to who wrote this book by like karl marx das capital and everything so i had i had made a separate register for that also i mean it took me 15 to 20 minutes daily i just watched those videos uh, and i prepared my own notes uh, from those and i felt that that was very helpful uh because i got to know i mean some people were caught unaware from the changed pattern of cvt this time but at least i had a uh, i had an understanding as to okay i'm familiar with this pattern and i can attempt and i can guess correctly also with 95% 99% accuracy so i think that served me well and uh, again then after cvt we had isi i had attempted uh, the isi paper and i cleared the first paper pea but uh, i guess that peb was i couldn't clear the cut off for that but then uh, i had this again uh, i had this one more opportunity to uh, sit for iit uh, iit delhi additional 15 seats so yeah. i gave that and i have been shortlisted and for that i had attempted five out of the 10 mock series that you had give, uh, provided us on the platform mm. so i couldn't uh, complete all of them because i had my semester and examinations so okay. for that this is all my preparation that that's that's huge that's a lot and i guess with the quantum of registers that you have prepared i guess if someone has access to those registers alone They they will be able to get through at least CUET for sure. Yes. Okay, okay. So yeah, I know. Uh, uh, you see, Priya, when when Ma'am provided the content, especially for CUET, okay, you can look at the portal also. You will find that there is there is both both the sets. One focusing on the theoretical part, the other focusing on a part which is from a DSC level. Yes. that's why you had the past years of d school as well gnu as well because we were not aware in the sense ki agar igdr aa raha hai dsc aa raha hai so the level might get increased or uplifted correct yes. But, uh, again it wasn't to be so it was a very uh, fairly uh, medium levelish paper yes. exactly and even to we considered that as well that's why the theoretical portion like who came up with what and sort of that theoretical approach was there so uh, i i know uh, you were not able to go through all the mocks as well but i guess with all the notes that you have prepared from the content that that is that is speaks a lot in terms of your approach to preparation and to detailing as to because you can't fill even one single register if you don't put in good amount of content in that so so great great okay so priya uh, i guess uh, for you you won't have to even touch the basic level if uh, i can i can be assured you won't have even touched the basic level because you have already come from from such a institution like srcc so i can't doubt any conceptual clarity you would require so so to, did you start with the advanced level directly or the intermediate level in between or was there a mix between the two Uh, there was actually a mix between the two i mean uh, i would like to actually thank myself only that uh, i had focused on my college studies also at the same time because i had watched many topper talks regarding how they approach the exam and uh, many of them had said that uh, they focused only on the college uh, semester examinations at, in the last 15 days and that approach didn't suit me well i mean i felt that the pressure of the last 15 days would be too much for me so i had uh, chosen my subjects very selectively in semester 5 and 6 so i felt that i didn't need to revise international economics or some topics of oem also for exam because i had already covered that in college so and uh, also i would say that i kept uh, 80 to 20 ratio of my preparation as in 80% to uh, entrance examinations and 20% to college studies sometimes it would be 90 to 10 but i always kept that ratio in mind because uh, 
I mean, you uh, there are some topics also in development economics. Nam had already posted many videos, but I felt that I didn't need to go through those basic videos because those were already covered. Like uh, there are some topics like credit and Harris to Darrow model, Lewis model, and some basic definitions of birth rate, death rate. So I feel I feel that I saved my time by like going through my college studies well. And uh, so I then focused on basically those videos or those topics which I had a less uh, knowledge, I had less knowledge of and made my notes accordingly only. So I mean, everyone has their own strategy regarding if they wanted to give like more attention to college studies or not. But I took that, uh, I mean, I took both the situations hand in hand and then proceeded with my strategies, preparation. So. So, so one point that you highlighted is very important. I don't know whether students will take a note of it or not. But the fact that you decided your electives or the subjects very strategically, right? And that is that is very important because that reduces your burden. burden, time preparation for that particular subject. And you can rather use that time in your interest preparation. Yes. So uh, with that, I see that your goal was pretty clear. I have to prepare for entrances accordingly. I have to devote my time. So accordingly, I won't be able to give much time to the subjects, which are great, great. I guess uh, the the I, I learn only from you guys when you guys share the strategies because all of you have a different approach. And, and I completely agree. And I always tell students, keep none of the, there is no one concrete strategy for anything. Like you have one, I, I don't know how many of the students will be able to replicate and have so much of uh, registers to prepare and go through the content. So it's amazing, amazing, no doubt. Okay, so uh, Priya, what after this, like what's your target? I guess, uh, is it corporate again, going back to the corporate world or the civils or the PhD research work, what exactly? Uh I haven't uh, really decided, I mean, as to what exact career path I want to choose, but I feel that it will revolve around economics only. And uh, I've had the support of my school teachers as well. So I feel that they will guide me at every step of the way. And now that I have Artha Point also, and you people, I mean, you, I, if I have any doubts, I will ask like my teachers and supporters only. So, I mean, it will revolve around economics only, that's for sure, because that is what I have majored in. Uh, but I haven't exactly decided what I'll like, what I'll be in the next five years. Great, no worries. So, uh, so something uh, you would like to tell the aspirants, the students who are sitting for the coming session, and uh, what can be the defining thing or the approach or any small tip for those students that they can implement in their process and make a difference. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, would be to go through the syllabus and to basically familiarize yourself with what you actually have to focus on and recognizing your strengths and weaknesses. For example, uh, the electives that I chose, so I didn't pay uh, like that much revision for that because I'd already revised that in college. The second would be to practice mocks and past year papers because that is very important. Some questions of statistics and eco tricks, so they are repeated every time in like uh, DAC, I noticed a pattern, they were repeated every time. So there are some also pet questions of CVT, like from uh, if we notice the pattern of this year and last year, the pet questions as in who wrote this book and uh, uh, match the following and even the five year, uh, the five year plans that have gone through the entire 60 years, the past 60 years, that is a very important topic of Indian economy. And Arzum Ahmed covered that thoroughly. So if one does that uh, video, uh, that will suffice. And then second would be uh, to make uh, effective use of online resources. I mean, not to just dawdle your time on phone. Like for example, there were days when I didn't even touch my phone. Like there were two days and I didn't touch my phone only. Like I didn't use it at all. And uh, sometimes my screen time would be two minutes only because I had to message my father for something. But apart from that, uh, like wasting time on social media, that has to be kept in mind. And uh, the Telegram group that Artha Point has uh, created for the students, that is beneficial because on WhatsApp, what happens is that other messages come into play. But Telegram, at least there is a restraint and a limit as to who you can contact with. So that uh, 
that would be it and then uh, to go through every solution that ma'am has posted and if there is a doubt uh, clear that hand in hand only i mean first you have to solve that yourself if you are unable to do that look at the solution that ma'am has post posted instead of taking it on your ego that no if i can't i mean there are some people who took it i mean at least in my first attempts i used to take a question on my ego and uh, but you have to use all resources judiciously judiciously for your own benefit only and uh, then also i felt that uh, in iit jam there uh, there are some questions on budget like there was one question on budget this year so you have to familiarize yourself with these small uh, tr uh, small i mean they may seem trivial but these questions can actually fetch you extra marks or they may be uh, these questions only are the one or two markers that help you get a rank so focusing on the budget questions also i mean just go through those uh, provisions and the programs and then uh, at the end just be calm and focus on yourself and stay close to your family and friends and those who support you because a loving and supportive environment is actually a most crucial extraneous variable in your preparation so that is very important and just stay happy <laughs> very true that's why i i always tell students in general as well ki right before the exam you have to be very positive approach it in the best simple clear mind point of view se aap jao it everything will be fine and even now when your cutoffs were about to come up i told everyone you have done your best now let's just wait for the results they will be there will be something better for you for life no doubt about that so so i guess and uh, honestly speaking Uh, the way you ha have uh, pictured this entire thing is very mature theek hai uh, in terms of uh, making the note of each and everything in the sense ki uh, limited time on social media especially when there is a crunch time right for your exams so it's it's very good and and just to make sure that everything is intact you stay positive happy before you approach the exam these things might not look uh, very very uh, i would say acceptable to many student but at the end of the day if you want to secure something good you will have to adjust for some time no doubt about that. great so so thank you thank you so much priya for you. for your feedback and i i can sense uh, that positivity from day one since you have uh, cracked the very first exams and post that every uh, you have been very very happy excited about all your scores and uh, and the point you also highlighted is not to take things on your own don't feel a bit in nah, i don't want to ask we are there to help yes and i messaged you at every step of the way asking questions regarding like any of the admission process and my father said they will reply in such a short time i said yes they do and they and then your message came and he was quite surprised and he i mean there was a sense of new found appreciation for you also so i mean my both, both of my parents are quite happy with our the points uh, i mean support i mean you you people were with us every step of the way so i was quite uh, grateful for that I I am even more grateful to you guys when you guys acknowledge that because I know students and uh, it happens. ठीक है at the end of the day you guys are student so like you mentioned no one can take it on their own ठीक है so I'll just leave it but when some of you guys acknowledge it that keeps us motivated for the upcoming student or else I'll feel कि यार इन बच्चों ने they didn't respond me so why should I go out of my line and help them out That's not the case, and you know कि uh, student of us, in fact, मेरे student को शायद एक बार को wait करना पड़ेगा call back का, but someone else who comes up, I'll be more than happy yes. immediately. So, so thank you so much for acknowledging that, and that's our our motto to help out students in terms of every way possible. We can do that. ठीक है. Thank you, Priya. Thank you once. Thank you, and wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors and like of course always if there's anything you require at any point of time in terms of academics or anything just feel free to connect over call or whatsapp and you know we'll be there to help you in our available capacity okay thank you sir thank you sir for having me today thank you